little technology crazy here, and today we're going to be working again with batch files, or as most people call it, bat. Um, we're going to be working uh, with variables and user input. So we're going to be making a calculator, very, very simple one, um, just using variables and taking the user's input. Uh, so user's input being the user's input, and variables being something that will change, uh, that can always change and be, it'll change the end result. So um, in elementary or in middle school or high school, they give you those questions where you had to fill in the blank. Now that blank is a variable. You can stick in whatever you want and it will change the outcome. Sort of like the cat jumped over the moon or the cow jumped over the moon being um, the cat and the cow being the variable. It will change the whole sentence um, if you change that word. So we're going to start off the exact same with echo off because we don't want anything to show on our screen. And then we're going to use um, this coding right here. So it's set space slash p space and then this is your variable so you can make it whatever you want and then equals and this is what will show up on your screen and whatever you type in after this will equal this variable right here so our variable is math and that's pause right now and let's open it up okay so say first number uh, which is the very very first thing we're gonna do in our calculator app sort of thing um, and then you just type in the number um, and you would uh, finish it. Um, I actually thought of an easier way of doing this calculator. What we're going to do instead of first number, we're going to do equation, just like that. Um, and then we'll type in 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 2 or whatever, and it'll calculate the rest. So we're taking the user input, and it equals math. Now, to use a variable, let's say we want to print out what we said. We can do echo, and then 2 equal, um, two percent signs and then we're going to write our variable in between. Now you don't have to do cap locks like I am, um, it's just easier to spot out in a lot of coding. Uh, so let's do like 1 plus 2 and it copies us, it says 1 plus 2 right there. So that's what we want. Um, so whenever you're using a variable or, or um, bringing it back in the program, you have to do it in between two percent signs. So now our next part of the code is actually going to find the results. So we're going to do set dash a because this is we're doing math now and uh, we're gonna set this to results just like that and equal uh, we're gonna make this equal math so it's gonna find the results and uh, it's gonna take our math and figure out what the answer is and then make it equal result so then all we have to do after this is to echo and then results and we should be good to go just like that so we're using two different variables here so equation 1 plus 2 and it equals 3 right like that now um, as you notice it closes we don't get to do it over and over again so we're gonna use the go to command that we learned in the last video uh, so it'll always repeat so let's start over here we'll say uh, go to start and oh, sorry about that and we'll do colon start at the very very beginning so when it gets to here it'll start back over uh, we also want to pause after the result because if we don't then it'll just start over without showing us our result so 2 plus 3 let's do this time equals 5 and if we press continue it will start over now you notice that it shows our last equation there so now we're actually going to do um, something we did before too uh, the clear the screen command so C L S and this will clear the screen so 2 plus 3 5 then we press this it'll clear the screen and start over again now we have a really cool calculator here, but now let's uh, let's make it a little bit even more cool. Uh, we're going to use something called if command or if statement, as uh, programmers call it, and we just have to type in if if the result equals so two, two equal signs, just like that, uh, equals five. Then let's have it start Notepad. So start Notepad dot exe, just like that. So if re results, oops, I didn't do two per send signs equals five start notepad and we'll save it and start over again uh, so now if we do one plus one equals two uh, now if we do four plus one so it should equal five it opens up notepad just like that uh, so that's using if statements um, you can have as many as you want and there's also something called an else statement so if it's not five it, you can have it do something else but I'll let you guys uh, to discover that so I guess that ends this tutorial I hope you guys had a lot of fun um, play around with this play make a calculator or make any type of app you want uh, using the take in user input and variables to store the information I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I guess that's all goodbye 
Okay, so the winner of uh, the Piggy program this week is absolutely awesome. And if you want to go and check out his channel, all you have to do is go and click on the click me button on your screen right now. Uh, basically, he makes tech videos, and he only started like seven days ago, like November 25th, and he came in with a wow. Uh, his videos are already professional at such an early stage, which is not I've never seen before. Um, my videos are really, really bad when I started, and it took me almost a whole year to get um, semi-professional, and now I think my videos are a lot better. Um, but th this guy's pretty, pretty... He's really good, um, let's just say that. In this short time, he's already got like 40 subscribers, um, and he's going to shoot up really, really fast, I've been expecting. So go and check out his channel. If you want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is say, pick, pick me in my latest video, and you can say it as many times as you want, and I might pick you for my next video. So once again, say, pick me, you can say it as many times as you want. Um, I guess that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumb it up and subscribe. Uh, that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.